All right, ladies and gentlemen, in order to design a keychain, here are the steps. We're going to open up SketchUp for Schools, and we're going to go to the Home area, and then we're going to select a template in millimeters. So once you have that going, you want to create a rectangle that is 65 by 25. So we draw a rectangle near the person's foot. We're going to type 65 comma 25 and hit the Enter key. You'll notice it's quite small compared to the person, but it is a great size for a keychain. We're going to zoom in on that 65 by 25, and if we use our Scenes tool over here, we can click on the top view, so we're looking straight down at it. We're going to give ourselves some guides that are going to help with our corners. So we're going to use the tape measure, and for guides, you want to click anywhere except the endpoints and the midpoints. So click on the line. We're going to come down four millimeters, so I'm just going to type four, hit Enter, I'm going to do that on all of the sides. And then we're going to use our arc tool here in a moment to create some arcs. So again, give yourself a four millimeter um, guide for the arc tool. We're going to use the uh, second one there, the two point arc. And we might have to zoom in a bit, but if we click on that intersection and that intersection and then click a third time, it cuts off the corner for us. So that's one, two, and then a third click without moving the mouse that third time. And that's how we can get our rounded corners. After we have our rounded corners, then we can erase the guides because they might just get us kind of confused here. So we'll erase our guidelines with our eraser tool. And now we're going to use the push-pull tool and we're going to lift this up three millimeters. So I lift it up a bit, type the number three, and there we have a three millimeter blank keychain. The next step is to use the offset tool. The offset tool, again, is under push-pull, or you can hit F on the keyboard. And we want to give ourselves an offset of two millimeters. So we're going to type the number two, enter. And now we want to push the center down with the push-pull tool. And we want to do that so it goes halfway through the keychain. If the keychain is three, we're going to push this down 1.5. So we start it in the negative direction, and then we type 1.5. And there we have um, a place to put the letters. The next thing we're going to do is add a circle so you can put it on a keychain. So for that, I'm going to use my uh, circle tool. And I'm going to zoom in here on this bottom line and find the midpoint. And there we have the midpoint. And then we're just going to come over to the right a bit and draw a circle. The circle should be five millimeters in diameter, but because the computer wants radius, we have to enter half of that value. So we're going to type in 2.5, which will give us a five millimeter um, diameter circle. And then to open that up, we're going to use our push-pull tool, and we're going to push it down until our mouse locks onto the outside edge. The last thing we need to do here is add text. For that, we're going to go to our drawing tools down to the very bottom tool there, the 3D text tool. And this is where you're going to type in your name. I'm just going to type Mr. Z for now. And you can select different fonts. Um, not all of them will 3D print well, um, but certainly the, the one that is default here works well. The Oswald will work. The permanent marker might work. Uh, the play ball here one is not going to look very good. So I'm just going to keep it like that for now. I'm going to hit OK. And as you can see here, the text is quite large, right? And we're going to use the scale tool to scale it down. You can hit S on your keyboard to get the scale tool. Or we can look for it here. And let's see. Where is the scale tool? Where is the scale tool? There it is. Or you can hit S. And now we'll click on the letters and we can scale this down. The first thing we can do is make it not, not so tall. So we can click on this center one and bring it in like that. And then we can take a corner and shrink it dramatically. And then we can use our move tool. So I'm going to hit M on the keyboard and get this closer to my keychain. Where now I can zoom in and focus a little bit more on it. I hit S again for the scale tool. Bring it down a little bit. And then the M tool for move. And now we want to position this so it's in the center. And to lift it up a little bit, I'm going to click with the Move tool and hit the up arrow on my keyboard. That'll lock it so it's moving up and down. And now we can focus on side to side. 
The goal here is to have the letters finish flush with the top of your keychain. So I'm going to use the scale tool again and just taking the middle and I'm going to bring this down until it's even with the top edge. And there's probably a better way to do this, but that seems to work for me. It looks like it's flush. All right, now we have our name in there, and the next step is to group it all together. So for that, you use your selection arrow, and you just drag a halo around it. You right-click and make a group. The next thing you want to do is delete the person. Otherwise, the, uh, the file will include the person. You want to delete um, Dr. Grand in there. And now we're ready to give it a title and export it. So I'm going to call this Mr. Z, whoops, let's try that again. Mr. Z Keychain. And then you're going to put it in your normal folder. Um, I'm just going to put it in here for now. And now to export it, you're going to go up here to the file location. You're going to go to export as an STL. STL there and as you can see it drops it into your downloads folder and then what you want to do is move that into our 3d printer drive so I'm going to open up my file explorer here and we're going to click on 3d printer you can see period one here so we'll take this file and we'll move it to this location here and drag it up to period one or whatever period you're in and then I can 3d print it that should uh, give you all the information you need to successfully draw your keychain.